came to London just by chance, I took up residence in Labrador Grove, only some 150 yards away from where Christie had sort of, um, these crimes had sort of been committed. I met people in the pubs who'd known Christie and I was in, I'd sort of landed in Christie country really. And Christie to me represented the sort of the most revolting and extreme necrophile form of human behavior. And it was very visual, the whole sexuality of it, the, the tabloid sense of it. Everything that I read about it, you know, it seemed very, very close to a sort of painting. And yet, when I started to do the painting, I didn't want to make it grotesque and completely shocking. In many ways, the paintings are a folly because I did try a kind of schizophrenia in them. I tried for almost a Matissean beauty hitting against a sort of Belson absolute. I mean, I didn't want to produce a completely grotesque and ghastly and negative pus-filled picture because, I mean, no one really wants to see. There's no point in, in, um, in going to that extreme. But I thought that there could be some, some degree of a balance. I'm still unsure whether I was right, you know, to produce the pictures like that. If you take away the, the device of the pictures, they are very lyrical. They could almost be nudes on beaches and not women being ravished and uh, murdered. <laughs>